hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is a different video as you can tell by the title um i'm doing a video that i've never done before i'm doing a project that i've never done before i'm doing a skill that i've haven't done since junior high i want to try something new i bought some wood and i'm going to make a planter box um i thought that might be easy enough for my first project but i guess we'll see so it's dark outside already or almost dark so i'm not going to be able to do anything outside um at least for today so I really want to get started today because I'm excited. So I've decided that I'm going to cut all the boards at least to size today and maybe start on sanding today. And then tomorrow I can take it outside during the day and put it together. That's my plan, but we'll see. I tried to do this as budget friendly as I could. So I got this jigsaw. And I actually got it for like 40% off. So I'm going to try to cut all my wood with this jigsaw. The only thing I'm worried about is I do have a 4x4 four four plank that I don't know if a jigsaw is able to cut. So we'll find out together. But I'm going to leave that until the last cut just in case like I screw up my jigsaw. At least I have everything else cut, maybe. I don't know. I went to Harbor Freight because they have cheaper tools there. And they have coupons as well. Then I got this. This is the Warrior Palm Sander. Because I would like to weatherproof it. Um, and then I just got these to go on there. And then I got these. These so that I can put drainage holes in the bottom. And then my jigsaw blades and then i got these i don't know if this is what i need but i got these to drill pilot holes and then what else did i get hold on tape measure because i only have the tape measure that you uh use to measure like for like sewing and stuff so this is all my wood these are um, what are these? One by sixes and these are, oh, this one. This one's a four by four. And then I have this wood that I'm gonna use to brace the bottom planks that go on the bottom part. So we'll see how that works. So Okay, so I think I probably should mention that I don't have like a sawhorse or anything to try to cut this wood, so. <laughs> we are we're just gonna go with it i still don't have a tripod so this is gonna be a little bit difficult to film but i'm gonna try the best that i can Ow! i caught my finger already <laughs> i don't know if you can see the blood Ugh. but i haven't even made the first mark yet so that's how this is going okay. does not help me at all i was using the jigsaw i couldn't get a straight cut to save my life so i went to walmart got a handsaw and was able to kind of use a mixture of the handsaw and the jigsaw to get my um sides done my issue now is i have these four by four boards that i need to cut in half to three foot boards or whatever and um i don't know how i'm gonna get that done with like a decent cut with a handsaw and a jigsaw like i don't know if that's gonna happen 
we'll see those are like my last cuts besides like the bottom but i want to put the frame together before i um do the inside bottom so i need to put it together so that i can measure the inside and cut it to size um i have sawdust everywhere i have sawdust on my face oh maybe that's just my lips are dry anyways Okay, I'm out of breath. That was a lot. <laughs> All of these are now three-ish feet. As you can see, um, they're not at all the same. So to uh, hide this, I'm going to, instead of starting the board here, I'm gonna start it up a little bit higher. Um, if I could change a, something, I probably wouldn't have done three feet because it's a little tall. But with the tools that I have and what how I feel about it right now, I don't even care. So I'm probably going to leave like an inch or so um, at the top. I'm going to try to sand these as best I can, but I'm going to try to leave like an inch. That's too big. Like an inch or so at the top here because I don't want these like flush because obviously they're crooked. So um, I'm going to like just kind of put them below the the edge here just a little bit. So I'm gonna rough sand these. I'm not sanding these to be perfect, but I've just done a rough sand on these boards. I'm gonna do a rough sand on these boards. Okay, so update on my planner box. We're outside now, everything is a mess, but um, the last time I filmed, so I kind of put it together out of order, so that's been causing me some difficulties. I should have put the long pieces first and then put this and then put the sides, but I did the sides first and then I did that side and then I did this. Um, so this board, nothing is, 100% level so as you can see here nothing is 100% leveled um <laughs> but um where was I going with this this cross board right here was warped so I ended up cutting these notches out to kind of like get rid of that a little bit which I don't really know if it helped or not but this is my first project so we're just going to go with it. Thank you. 
This by far has been the easiest part of this entire project. So I just have, oh my snacks are there, but um, I just have a couple more boards that I need to put in. So after that, then I just have to nail them down and we'll be done. Um, yeah, <laughs> lots of gaps, gaps, crooked edges, but um, this is my first project and I made this all by myself with no help, no experience other than 8th grade shop class, which was, I'm too embarrassed to admit how long ago that was, but yeah, I'm proud of myself. a huge gap.
so my drill battery died I have three more screws that I need to um, put down for the bottom but I have some extra wood left so I'm thinking about making like a bench um, to attach to the side let me show you thinking of making a bench here um, I have this extra 1x6 and then this 2x4 that I could cut in half and put like two legs. I'm trying to debate if that's what I want to do, but this is what it looks like. I put the bottom in. My drill died on that one, so I have these two. Not the best cuts, but um, let me show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. Overall, I'm debating if I want to stain it or not. I have some stain in my garage from other projects. Um, so I'm trying to debate, trying to see if I want to do that here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's like a today task or a... I don't know. But this, the plan for it is to go right here. I want to get rid of some of these like empty pots. And so the plan is to put it like right here um and put it next to this i have some broccoli growing right now and i have some tomato down there but this seems to be like a really good growing spot the only issue that i really have is whenever the lawn is mowed it blows up into my plants like the ones that are down on the ground and they get like sick like they get like fungus or something like that and they have a really hard time growing but whatever I grow in this box tends to do better because it's lifted off the ground and I don't have as many issues so that was the purpose for this to fill it up to be able to get my plants off of the ground um so yeah I would eventually like to yeah, like put a bench. I don't know if that'll get done today. Um, we'll see how difficult it is. I don't have like a um, one of those things that helps you do like slanted, um, slanted holes. So I may wait until I get one of those so it just be easier because I've taken the hard way with my like, handsaw, my jigsaw, and no like work bench. Um, because as I built this, it was easier to cut straight with the jigsaw because I was like on a platform. So I've taken the hard route the entire way of building this thing. The bench is would be like the last part. I would like for that to be easy. So probably going to wait till I get one of those. I don't know what those things are called. But I broke my uh, pot here. So there's that but this is i think these are lemon trees i usually just take seeds this is an avocado seed but i usually just take seeds out of my kitchen and throw them in this box i mean in this um planter right here and whatever grows grows and i think these are lemon seeds because that's the last thing i threw in there and then this avocado i just threw it in there see if it'll grow i don't know